kahit na yung sagot niya ay dalawa po. Yung 9, we have 18. So, 1 plus 8. So, i-add natin lahat. Hello guys, so welcome back again to, to my channel. This is Mr. E143. So in this video, we're going to have another application of modular arithmetic by verifying the credit card number. Okay, so to verify a credit card number, we are going to apply the LAN algorithm. Okay, modulus 10 algorithm. Or So in LAN algorithm, uh, ayun sa kanyang steps okay, so step 1 ang gagawin natin uh, we are going to start or starting from the next to last digit okay, or the second to the last digit, doon tayo magsisimula double every other digit double every other digit, ibig sabihin ito double natin, multiply natin ng 2 ang mga digit na yun, ang mga number na yun na kung saan magsart tayo doon sa uh, second to the last digit okay? if a digit becomes two digit number after being doubled okay, treat the number as two individual digit ibig sabihin kailangan uh, kapag ang sagot or uh, yes ang, kapag na double natin ang number na yun and then uh, dalawang digit ang sagot ibig sabihin ni treat natin kanyari 20 ang sagot so I-double natin, uh, i-retreat natin yung digit as 2. So, magiging 2, 0. Okay? Okay, so para mas madali natin maintindihan, we have here example. Okay, so determine whether the, whether this uh, credit card number is a valid credit card or not. Okay? So, i-determine natin kung valid ito or not. Itong mga itong credit card number na given natin. Okay, so Okay, so ang credit card number natin ay 5234821334101298. Okay? So according to the rule, mag-start tayo doon sa uh, next to last digit or second to the last which is Kung dito sa given na to, ang second to the last natin ay 9. Okay? So, ito yung ating start daw tayo dito sa second to the last, which is yung okay, yung 9. Okay, then yung following numbers na, okay? So, next uh, digit. 9, we have 1, 1, 3, okay, 1, 8, 3, then 5. Okay, lahat ng nabilogan natin na yan ay i-double natin or i-multiply natin ng 2. Okay. So, i-multiply natin ng 2. Okay. So, 8. Then, yung second with 9. 9 times 2, we have 18. Okay. Then, 2. Then, 2 times 1, we have 2. 0. Then, 2 times 1, we have 2. Okay, next, we have 4, then 3, multiply natin ng 2, we have 6, 3, then 1, times 2, we have 2, then copy, 8, times 2, we have 16, okay, then 4, um, 3 times 2, we have 6, then 2, then 5, times 2, we have 10. Okay? So, again, yung dalawang number ang sagot, for instance, yung 9 kanina, ang sagot niya is 18. So, i-treat natin itong dalawang number na yan as 2-digit number. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 8, ito ay 1. So, hindi 18. Okay? So, gaya rin nung, so, first digit, we have 5. So, 10 ang sagot niya. So, 1, 0. Okay? Okay, next. Next ay, yeah, add natin lahat ng mga numbers na yan. Okay? So, yung dalawa ay, yeah, add natin. Kahit na, yung sagot niya ay dalawa. For instance, yung 9, we have 18. So, 1 plus 8. 
So, i-add natin lahat ng yan. 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 6 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 and so on hanggang plus 8. Okay? So, i-add natin. So, ang sagot niya ay Okay, so add natin lahat. Sagot niya ay 60. Okay? So, tandaan natin pala na yung sagot ay it must be equal to 0 at modulo 10. Okay? Tandaan pala natin na ang sagot in order to valid, kung magiging valid siya kapag yung sagot okay, ay equal to 0 at modulo uh, 10. Okay? So, ang i-add natin itong lahat, ang sagot niya ay 60. So, 60 divided by 10 is 6 remainder 0. Therefore, therefore, ang credit card number ay valid. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, so, 60 Modulo 10. So, 0. Okay? Therefore, tama. It, it must be 0 at modulo 10. Okay? Therefore, valid. Okay? Valid yung credit card number. So, kapag hindi siya mag-equal to 0 at modulo 10, ibig sabihin, invalid or not valid ang credit card number.